Hi, this is Mike from the Outdoor Gear Exchange, and we're looking at the options from G3 for tech bindings. There's three options from G3 uh, out this year, uh, each with a very different user in mind. Our most popular binding from G3 has been the Ion. It comes in a 10 and a 12 setting for release value. Uh, they're $50 apart in price, and depending on your weight and how hard you ski will determine which one you need. Um, the one that goes up to 12 obviously has a higher release value for a heavier and more aggressive skier. If you don't need that, you can save the money and get the 10 version, or if you're a lighter weight skier um, or just starting out, you might prefer the 10 because it also does go down lower in release value. Um, this binding has several pretty cool innovations in the tech binding market. Uh, when you go to get into the binding, it has these two tabs right here in the front of the toe. And when you kick your boot in, as soon as your boot hits the front, it locks in and it's in the exact right spot for the pins to line up with your boot. Makes it very easy to get into, uh, especially later in the day when you're tired. If your ski's in deep snow, it really aids getting into the ski easily, uh, the first time and efficiently. The heel lifters are also ambidextrous. When you go from ski mode to touring mode, you can rotate the heel piece clockwise or counterclockwise, counterclockwise, whatever your preference is. This is not the case in all touring bindings. You then have a low lever and a high lever easily uh, deployed with your pole. When it's time to go back to the skiing, you can just rotate it back and you're ready to go. A lighter weight version that just came out last year is the Ion LT binding. One way it's lighter is as you can see, there's no more break. There's also not the same step-in assist with the two prongs. Instead, there's one elastomer here, which serves a similar purpose. All in all, G3's been able to lighten the weight of this binding and make it a better option for backcountry skiers who don't uh, require brakes or don't want brakes. You would use a leash instead. If you're shaving grams, this is a great way to go. If you like having your skis stay in front of you when you toss them on the ground, having the brakes on the standard ion is another good option. The Onyx binding is the oldest tech binding in G3's line. It's also the only one on the market I'm aware of where the default position for the pins is closed. To step into this binding, you do have to depress the toe with your pole to open them up. When you release it, they snap shut. So the default position is to have your toe locked in. Also, nice on this binding, the heel mechanism slides forward and back. So for ski mode, it clips up like that and you step into it. For tour mode, you just slide that back. So it's easy to go from tour to ski to tour again. Works great if you have a waxless base ski or you're on funky rolling terrain when you're skinning and you want to lock your heel in for a downhill or release it for a quick uphill. The climbing levers flip over with a low one and a high one for touring. Uh, another uh, selling feature for the Onyx is its price. $399 is a great price for a tech binding. And that's the G3 line. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike from the Outdoor Gear Exchange.